you remember what happened after we lost two games last time. We went on a pretty good run. So uh, we're just have to come back tomorrow, learn from it, watch the film, and move on. Like you said, we can't really dwell on it. And welcome into Buck and Honey's in Wanakee. I'm Zach Hanley alongside Connor Sejan. This is Wisconsin Huddle. Connor, thanks for coming back. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate you for having me back on the show. Well, tough week for you guys. We'll start on the road at a place that's becoming a bit of a house of horrors for Wisconsin. You know, Nebraska. The Badgers dominated the first half and led by as many as 19 in the game, but they saw that lead disappear. An A.J. Storr bucket with 20 seconds left sent it to overtime, but in OT they were outscored 13-5 to and handed their second Big Ten loss of the season. Connor, last year the same thing happened, up double digits, then you lose in OT to the Huskers. What is it about playing at Nebraska that's so tough? I mean, honestly, the way that their environment is, you know, in Nebraska, I mean, the, the fans were nuts. Um, I mean, from the get-go, the student section was there early. They were yelling at us. Um, I mean, their, their crowd and their fans really never left, even when they were down, you know, big. And, I mean, to be honest, I mean, neither did their players. They really battled back. Got to give props to them for that. But... Um, I mean, we just didn't get the job done. Well, up next, it was a top 10 showdown at the Kohl Center with first place in the Big Ten on the line against Purdue and Wisconsin battle. In a heavyweight fight between two of the conference's best, the Badgers went blow for blow with the Boilermakers. UW had more points in the paint, more blocks, fewer turnovers, but were out-rebounded and couldn't get it going from deep. When you're playing at this level, you, you've got to... You have to check every box. You can't check three of five or five of seven. You have to be elite in, in a lot of areas. We knock out one, two, three of those things, and I, I see no reason why we can't be one of the best teams in the country. So we got a few things that we got to work on and tighten up, and that's what, that's what this is for. We want to be playing our best basketball march. Any loss is tough, right? But does this one maybe feel different because a couple bounces here, a couple bounces there, you guys get that win? Yeah, I mean, we were going back, you know, through the film, you know, earlier today. I mean, it really felt like that just few, few changes and few differences, we really would have came out with a W in that game. Um, I mean, we didn't shoot the ball great, and I felt like we had been recently. Um, so, you know, that hurt. But, I mean, like you said, points in the pan, I feel like people wouldn't have realized that, that we got that done. Um, I mean, that just shows that we got guys, too, that are gritty and, and ready to go. Um, and, you know, with it being that close, you know, and down to the wire like that, I feel like really showed us and proved to us that we can, you know, be at the top of the Big Ten when it's said and done. Well, one bright spot in the loss, Tyler Wall. He put on a show against the Boilermakers and almost willed the Badgers to a win. Chucky on the right side. Hepburn, right of the lane, out to Klesman, feeds Wall for three, up top, and it's bank no good. Got his own rebound, in the lane, up and in! Tyler Wall following his own miss. Badgers within two. 20 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three steals, two blocks, all team highs. What did you see from your senior leader? I mean, he really did it all that game. Um, I mean, with this being his last go around, he really is, you know, giving everything he's got, you know, to this team, to this program to this season. Um, I mean, you're looking at it, you know, when you look at his stats right there, I mean, he really showed no fear against the National Player of the Year and probably the biggest you can possibly get in college basketball. Um, I mean, he went right at him, and that, that really showed us, too, the type of character he's got, the type of leader he is to set the tone for, for guys like me and other guys on the team. Um, to be able to go out there and show what, what needs to be done every single night. Well, we've got to take a quick break, but stick around. More Wisconsin Huddle after this. I like Mad Max because uh, it really does fit his personality. Uh, when things don't things aren't going the right way, he'll he'll show his mean side, his mad side at us, and uh, he'll get under our skin in a good way. Uh, every team needs someone like that, and he's just a great leader for us. So I think Mad Max, I like that one a little better. I kind of like Clez the Closer. I haven't really heard that one before, but he's made some big shots for us recently, and I, I kind of like that one. I've called him Mad Max, uh, so I would probably say Mad Max. Yeah. I'm going to say Mad Max, probably over. Uh, he's just crazy. I mean, his energy is always like one above everybody else. So I feel like Mad Max like perfectly fits his personality and literally him all the time. He's probably here, not here, but his energy wherever he's at is definitely through the roof. 
Uh, we call them sticks. Um, I don't know where they got it from. I just tagged them on from sticks. But I think Mad Max is the best one because he plays with so much fire in him that he's always 100% just all energy. So Mad Max is a good one for him. And welcome back to Wisconsin Herald. Now, Connor, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to say one of your teammates' names, and you're going to give me one word that describes them. Could be about their game, could be about their personality, or both. I'll let you decide. This could go really good or really bad. For them? I yeah. know, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's All right, let's, let's start with the senior leader, Tyler Wall. Honestly, I mean, I feel like leader's perfect. I mean, he really does. Leader, leader's a good one for Tyler. Leader? Yep, yep. Max Klesman. <sighs> energetic. He's always, he's always bouncing off the walls. It doesn't matter what time of the day. It is energetic, for sure. So that kind of goes with his Mad Max nickname. Right? It, he, honestly, that, that nickname's perfect for him, yeah. AJ Store. Surprising. Why you say that? You would, he's actually a really funny guy. Whether he looks, I know he looks so serious all the time and like always, he really is a funny guy and he's, he's an interesting guy too, yeah. I kind of would say bounce. He, yeah, he, he can bounce pretty high off the floor, yeah. yeah. Probably a little higher than I can. That's foreshadowing for a segment, segment later. We'll get, don't, don't worry, we'll get okay. to that, we'll get okay. to that. Uh, Carter Gilmore. Dad. Dad? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, <laughs> He's like the team dad. I don't know. He's just, he's always making sure everybody's all right, making sure everyone's all, I don't know. He really, he's like a, he's got 16, 17 kids on the team, and one of them's older than him. When I think yeah. of Carter Gilmore, I think of when he's wearing the headband. Yeah, that, he, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. say it. Uh, John Blackwell. He, he really is funny. Funny, I'm going to put funny for him. He's, he's always got something to say, something smart to say, but... I don't know how, but it's always, always comedy. All right, Stephen Crowell. Big. 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 Yeah. I mean, we all think Zach Eadie's big, but, t I mean, you're hanging around Steve every day. He's a big dude, too, I swear. <laughs> big Steve. Yeah. All right, last one, Chucky Hepburn. <sighs> interesting. Why interesting? He's, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't know, you know, his life story, his everything about him. Um, but, I mean, he's an interesting guy in, in all good ways, really. All right, what about you? What if I say Connor Seijin? Give me one word. <sighs> what do you think it is? What, what would you give my word to be? The sharpshooter, one word? I, th I think so. I'm not an we'll English go, major, we'll, so I, I, yeah. We'll go with sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, okay, okay. Or shoes? Shoes. Yeah, I, I have way too many shoes. I do have way too many shoes. Yeah. yeah, I guess, I mean, really everything I do, I shoot it. I don't know. Well, now it's time for our quickie quiz sponsored by Quick Trip. Three questions on Wisconsin men's basketball history. Let's shoot for three for three. How about that? That was good. See what I did that there? That was good, yeah. All right, number one. Wisconsin has won 20 Big Ten regular season championships. Which two schools in the conference have won more? Uh, that, that would be my home state teams, I think Indiana and Purdue. Right? Indiana and Purdue. Purdue yeah. with 25, Indiana 22. Add one more, you're coming for them then. Yep, we're yep. coming. Yep. All right, number two. How many Big Ten tournament titles has Wisconsin won? A4, B3, or C7? I'm going to go th three. B3 is correct. Number three. Who did Greg Gard beat for his first Big Ten win? Hint, you play them on Saturday. That's a, that's a huge hint. That's I really hint. should get this right now, yeah. you would think. I'm gonna but say you're, you're dialed in, so maybe. I know. Rutgers. Rutgers. Rutgers is correct. There we go. Yeah. Three for three in this week's Quickie Quiz. More with Connor Asesian after the break. Back to Buck and Honey's in Wanakee. Badger extra columnist Jim Polzin is here. Jim, we'll start right with you. Stephen Crow mentioned after the loss that the last time the Badgers lost two in a row, they went on a run. How do you think they'll respond after last week? I think they'll respond well. The schedule gets a little bit more favorable uh, over the rest of the month of February. Um, this is a team that's smart, and I think 
understands what it did wrong and probably can clear up some of those things pretty quickly. So yeah, I expect a pretty good run here the rest of the regular season. Connor, going off that, why will this group respond? Yeah, I mean, we got we got bigger, you know, goals and, and expectations than, than what this pack week, you know, was all about. Um, we came into this season, you know, wanting a Big Ten championship, and that's that's what we're going to go get. So we're we're ready to get back going. Tyler Walls coming off one of his best performances as a Badger. What's his best part of his game, Jim? A lot of great parts, obviously. For a six-nine guy, he's very skilled. Um, I think two things stand out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat and, and say two things. His heart. You know, this is a kid that's wanted to be a Wisconsin Badger for a long time and, and even last another year. Um, but the other thing is his motor. He just never stops. I mean, just either end of the court, offense, defense, he just keeps going and going and going, and he's, he's a little bit of an energizer bunny out there. You, you talked about the goals. Greg Gards brought up the goals at press conferences for it feels like, you know, since day one, but he's never expanded on what the goals are. What are your goals and what makes you believe that this team can achieve them? You know, Big Ten Championship was one of our first goals. Um, but, you know, whether Coach says it or not, um, you know, outwardly, uh, we know that, that one of our, you know, our main goals is we want to go to the Final Four and win a national championship. Um, and, and we know in the locker room, you know, that we can. We know the guys that we got. We got, you know, every piece that we need to be able to get it done. Um, and, and we know we can do that. Jim, you've covered this program for a while. Is there a team that you've covered in the past that reminds you of this team? This is a good segue to what he said because I don't think there's a perfect comparison for any team, but it, this team reminds me a little bit of the 2013-14 team that went to the Final Four, the first of those back-to-back -back Final Fours. And again, it's not a perfect player-for-player -player matchup, but that team was coming off a season where it couldn't score, and all of a sudden it was a great offensive team, um, very balanced, very team-oriented, good chemistry. Um, and like I said, that team didn't win a Big Ten title, but it made a run in the tournament, uh, largely because of its offense, and I could see this team doing the same thing. Well, now is a good time to remind you to give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and X. To stay up to date with all things Wisconsin Huddle. We're back after this. And welcome to this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Canley alongside Lacey Eden, Caroline Harvey, and this is Giant Connect 4. So we'll go first yeah, here. You got it. I trust you. Thanks. We're just trying to build that trust. Yeah, yeah. the chemistry. Team, team, team chem. chem. All right, so hockey. Why hockey? When, when do you remember falling in love with the sport? Lacey, we'll go with you first. Um, well, I started playing when I was four. My older brother played, and I would be at the rink, like, bugging my parents, like, the vending machine, and then they kind of just threw me out there yeah. to get rid of me. <laughs> Caroline, what about you? I remember going to watch my brother play. Um, my dad would have to bring me because he couldn't leave me at home, and I remember he would bring me into the stroller and face me towards the rink, and I just remember as soon as I started watching him, I'm like, I want to I wanna play. I want to be like just like him. And, yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it history? Oh. <laughs> that was our move. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. uh, favorite hockey memory? It's got to be mm, national won. championship, <laughs> world championship. I couldn't pick one. I don't know. Well, she knows too. Yeah. Yeah. Between. There's, yeah. So did you get a, like, a, you know, when you win a Stanley Cup, you get a day with the cup. Did you get a day with the trophy, or like, how did that work? Or did you take turns? Or was it like, groups? Or what? Um, wherever we went, we would just kind of take it with us. Uh, it had its little home at the rink, and we'd be like, oh, we're going here. Let's bring it. Oh. Mifflin party. <laughs> Let's bring it. <laughs> what was the craziest place it ended up? In a tree? Mm, yeah, I think at Mifflin, right? In a tree. <laughs> yeah. Why did you want to come play hockey at Wisconsin? I, I When I set foot on campus, it was just, I knew it, it felt like home right away. Yeah, so I mean, just wanting to play with the best of the best players, uh, the WCHA playing against the best players too, and then having so many amazing teammates like, like KK here, um, and then also getting coached by Mark Johnson. Yeah. Super cool. Is it my turn? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. 
This might be a stalemate, because there's one spot that you need to go for me, and I don't think you're gonna do it. <laughs> and so the name of the game is Connect Four, as you can see, four right here. How would you rate your play? I would say that you were distracting us with questions oh. and <laughs> unfair. we couldn't really focus on the match at hand, so. Well, you know what? I'll take the win. For Lacey Eden and Caroline Harvey, I'm Zach Hanley. More Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed next week. Connor, two things you love to see on a basketball court. A made three and... Dunks. Dunks. Well, AJ Storr, he's been rocking the rim since he got here. We'd like you to rank his dunks. I'm going to show you five. You need to rank them one through five, but there's a twist. You don't get to see them all at once. I'll show you one, you rank it, and then you can't use that ranking for the next four. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll see how this okay. goes. See, I know he's had better, but I mean, like for anyone else, I mean, that's a 10, but I'm going to have to put him... You're making this hard already. I'm gonna give it like in the middle. I'm gonna give him like a three. Three? That's a three. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's not many people in the world that can do that, but I mean, for him, that's probably, that was probably five. Five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know how you can physically jump that high. Um, I'm probably gonna put that four though. Four? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a one. That's yep. a one? Yep, that, that's got to be the one. I mean, over somebody like that, like off the glass from Chuck, I mean, and it's Iowa, come on. That's got to be one. Yeah, I, what, what do I have left, two? You have two. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty good spot for that, but realistically, that could be one as well. I think, I mean, I think my list is pretty solid. Okay. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with my selection, honestly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it for this week's Wisconsin Huddle. Be sure to join us on Monday, February 12th at our next live taping back at Buck and Honey's in Mount Horeb starting at around 7 o'clock. For Connor Asijan, I'm Zach Hanley. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Wisconsin Huddle was brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison.